They also talked to a nonprofit that helps trafficking survivors and sex workers. The woman who started the Cupcake Girls told me if there was less stigma around sex work, there would be less sex trafficking. The stigma around it can sometimes cause people to go underground and not uh, be seen as just even normal human beings that are working people in our society. For the last eight years, Joy Hoover and her team have connected with thousands of workers in the adult industry through a sweet treat. Hey, here's, you know, let me brighten your day, here's a cupcake. That's just the opening line. We provide holistic resources and confidential support to people working in the adult industry and aftercare to folks that have been sex trafficked. Some of those resources? Dental, medical, legal, financial, um, all different services, mental health. Hoover told me she works with some people who feel empowered when they walk into work at a strip club or a brothel. And others who are trafficking victims. Because it's stigmatized and because it's pushed underground more, it gives folks that um, maybe don't have the best intentions to prey off folks in the industry and to mistreat them. Rebecca Charleston told Fox 5 she's one of those women. Because Nevada does have legal prostitution, people confuse that to think it means the entire state. I know that from being trafficked in the city of Las Vegas. Charleston said she was forced into sex work for a decade. It was a form of punishment by my trafficker to send us to the legal brothels. And I know firsthand the human rights abuses that take place inside the brothels. That's why she's suing the state. The lawsuit says Nevada brothels, like the Bunny Ranch in Nye County, are unconstitutional because women are trafficked across state lines. Every human being has value and dignity and worth, and no one should have to lay on their back and open their legs for a stranger just to pay rent. Some lawmakers agree. The argument that if it weren't for the bordellos, we'd have more prostitution, I think it's just the opposite. I think they bring more. They invite more and they give some legitimacy through the process. The Cupcake Girls say even if the law doesn't change, the process sparked a much needed conversation. We want to discuss that we want to discuss that there are human lives at stake that are needing of respect of resources. Charleston filed the lawsuit on Monday. She also wants the state to set up a $2 million fund to help women leave the sex industry. Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.